Okay, welcome back to the Maker Show. I'm uh, going to do an unboxing video of this. It's an all fit HD model number 441303. Picked it up at the Home Depot for a uh, dollar less than a hundred, which is a good deal. And best deal going because this one is actually made in the United States. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it and assemble it. Now I used to have one of these. We had a truck farm, a uh, vegetable truck farm, and we used one almost exactly like it. And they were so first piece, just the body piece. This is the tongue. Where it connects to the tractor right here. This is a little thing to uh, do the dump. This is the, uh, the thing that the trailer sets on. Let's see, yeah, this would be set on the tongue right here, and this connects to the to the body of the trailer. Here some heavy steel plates. These are for, I believe, the axle. Goes in between right here. These go together like that. They make up the axle. This connects to the body. Axle goes right through this hole here. Okay, sorry about that. I had to put the dog out. Let's keep going here. Okay, this is more of the latch parts, I believe. I'm not positive what these parts are. We'll have to read the instruction. And a couple corner pieces for the corners. Two wheels, not too bad, pretty basic. parts bag, screws and everything, and that is the axle. Okay, this is the other side. Pretty shiny. Okay, that 
this is the instructions, how to put it together. This is obviously is the tailgate. This is the handle that you pull to dump it. I think. Don't quote me on that. And this is either the front or back. That might have been the tailgate or the front. I'm not positive on that. is the end of the box here. Uh, we forgot the all important decal. Gotta have that. Okay. Go ahead and start putting it together. Page one, and I take the two halves of the body. All right, let's see, get you in focus here. And take the two halves of the body and screw them together. Let's do that now. screw number one and bolt number 21. Now let's go ahead and break the bolts open. I have a container my wife saved for me. Just a moment. Always handy to have a container on hand to hold the bolts. same screws. Let's double check the manual. Okay. So part number 20 there's 50 screws and 50 nuts. So that's going to be these guys right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get find a wrench for them. just a moment so we need a flat a slotted screwdriver and looks like probably a half inch okay here we go we got slot and uh, Phillips screwdriver probably a number three I would guess and a 7 16 end wrench for the nut okay so let's go back to our instructions Okay, we're going to be putting four nuts and bolts in here. I'm going to do most of the tightening with the screw and then finish it off a little bit with the wrench. So pretty much tight, and then I finish tighten with the wrench. Okay, 
Now step two, right there, we're going to attach the support uh, for what lays against the, the tongue of the trailer. Go ahead and install that now. ever been up to Alaska before but this is a very pretty part of the country and uh, it is a little bit cold in winter but it ha hasn't been too bad and it's awesome to have almost 24 hour days you get a lot of work done during the during the summer That's the step two done. Now we're going to move on to step three and it says to attach the front gate with supplied hardware as shown. So it looks like they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts and that is panel number three which Okay, it's the smooth side, and that's going to go on the top. So it's this part that doesn't have any raised portions, and that is going to go on the front here. Tightening this is all and then having to loosen them. We're going to go ahead and just leave them finger tight. That was step three. We're on to step four. We're going to add the corner bumpers to the body of the cart and tighten with the hardware as shown. I'm going to go ahead and skip to five. Okay. We're going to assemble the underbolt, undercarriage. And it says to loosely tighten the bolts at this time. So.
left over from the chicken coop build it makes awesome meat cushion. I'm trying to get as old as me. Um, I want to tell you how old that is. It really helps clean these up. And this is step number six right there. I see what I did wrong. My step four wouldn't work. I ended up putting that panel in backwards, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to have to go back and switch that panel around. That was step three. We did step three wrong, or I did. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Um, it's not going to affect anything. We'll get it on the wheels up here. And then we'll go ahead and disassemble and then reassemble that part. So let's go on. Let's uh, go ahead and get the axle inserted. And then there's the spacer assembly. And then, a, and then the tongue. And then the spacer. And then it goes through. Get those parts. Okay, there's the axle. Go halfway through. Okay, and then a spacer. Spacer. Let's finish slipping the axle through. All right. Now the axle is all the way in, and this will flip down and hook right there. did step seven uh, to slide the axle completely through the undercarriage and be sure to catch on the draw bar sliding, slide, sliding the axle. So line the draw bar with the front support and press down to latch. Okay. So now it says slide washers and wheels onto axle and secure with hairpins as shown. Okay, so we got four washers. And it says to make sure the valve stem on the tire is pointing out. So they're talking about that, and it's pointing out. Yeah. Yeah, let's put 
put a washer on first. Then the wheel. Then a washer. And then a hairpin. Just like that, we're in business on one side. Now we'll just repeat that on the other side. Okay, there are two wheels all assembled and on. Okay, now it's time to tighten all the hardware like, like they said. I'll come back after I do that. Okay, now we're, I got all the bolts tightened and uh, I turned around this panel to the current position. that step that we stood. Okay, next step, put this back brace on here. Stiffener bar. Okay, it's almost done guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you putting the tailgate on. And there we go. That was the final step. That right there. And then we already put the hinge pin in, so. Okay, so we want to air up the tires to 30 pounds. Obviously don't use it outside or uh, on the highway because it's not safe for the, do not exceed 30, 350 pound material. And we might go over a little over that sometimes, but not much. Uh, dump the empty card, pull the handle, remove that. Periodic maintenance, check the ice, the air pressure, and grease the wheels. Okay, so that was unboxing of the All Fit AF. 350S 9 cubic feet steel dump cart. Okay. And the, forgot the all important decal. Just can't miss that. Okay. So, it's always 
hard to put these on straight. We're just trying to kind of go just like that. Good to go. Thanks guys. I'd like to you subscribe, rate, comment, and I'll see you soon.